Welcome to Exo Magic Trick number 756. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Exo Magic Trick 756 to 758, click on the link directly below the video. Hey, this video 756 and 756.5, there's going to be two of them, are going to be two parts. Um, the basic situation is we have a start date here. We're going to do some conditional adding in the second video, but each day of the month is represented by a sheet that has the name 1, 2, 3 for the third day, 4 for the fourth day. So the whole workbook could filled up, be filled up with 31 of these if you wanted. I have just 7 to make this uh, video short and easy. Okay, so the trick is, the first one is we want to be able to type in a start date and have auto-populate. The first of the month, the second of the month, the actual serial date here. So how are we going to do that? Well, this whole trick we type in a date here, and the whole trick is going to be predicated on the fact that we've named the sheets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way to 31. So we could use date math. If we could somehow extract these sheet names, on this sheet we could just say, hey, look at this date, uh, and in this case it would be add the sheet name minus 1, which because for this is the first of the month. For here, we could say, hey, is there a way to look at this date, add the sheet name, and subtract one? And that would add one and give us our date. And that would auto-populate. We could have the same formula in each cell and automatically auto-populate the dates anytime we put in a new starting date. So we have to figure out how to extract a sheet name. Let's come up here. There's a great function called cell. Now, cell can do a number of things. We want to look at file name. So I'm going to double click this. In earlier versions, you have to type it out, double quotes, file name, double quotes, comma, and be sure to put the reference A1. That just anchors this formula and actually will uh, make it work correctly, because if you don't anchor it, then you can get uh, the same sheet name on all of the sheets instead of what we want, a sheet name here, a sheet name here, a sheet name here. All right, so we can um, enter this here. Oh, and we see it gives us the whole path, the actual location of the file. And uh, oh, there's the workbook name. And there's finally the sheet name at the end. Now, I made this one easy. Uh, it's just one, two, three, no spaces, no nothing. So we don't need our normal um, uh, sheet with single quotes and things like that. Well, look at that. It, the number is always going to be after what? A square bracket. So we could use that pattern to help us extract just everything after the uh, s closed square bracket. Now I'm actually going to use the replace function. I'm going to say in replace, you could say uh, start at the first character and go all the way to whatever uh, location this square bracket is, and I'm going to replace it with nothing, and every the only thing left will be the actual number. So let's see how to do this. Now I'm going to actually going to have to use this little piece twice, so I'm going to copy it. I'm going to say replace. What's the old text? That right there, comma, old text, start number. I want to start at 1, comma, and I want to go from 1 all the way to that lo the location of that square bracket. So now I need a function that will tell me the location of that square bracket, and that is search. Find text. It is a closed square bracket in double quotes, comma, within what? Well, within what? I'm going to control V. That's that cell. Close parentheses. Then it's going to ask me, um, did I do that right? No, that's the number of characters right there. The search is the number of characters to go from the first character, comma, and then the new text. I want to replace all of that with double quote blank close parentheses, and that gives us a 1. Now notice it's aligned which direction? To the left, it's text. Now by itself, that can cause a problem, but any operation, adding, double negative, dividing, etc., on a number that's text will convert it to um, a number. So. Now we need to create, our, so our operation is going to be, hey, look at that beginning sheet and then add this. And so that the fact that we're adding is the operation that will convert it back to a number. So now on this sheet, I'm on the first one, equals. Click on 756. I'm doing a sheet reference. I click on that. I can see that right there. I'm just going to hit Control Enter. Right now, it gives me, oh, so the first uh, day in 2011 is Saturday, right? Okay, so I need to then do what? 
add this, and since I'm always going to be one day off right here, I don't really want to add one, I'm going to subtract one. All right, so now we need to put these formulas into these sheets over here. Why don't we do a little trick here? We're going to drill through. I'm going to highlight both of these one, two, three, and the, the template is the same on each sheet, so no problem. I'm selecting sheet one. I'm going to highlight these. Control C, the active cell is right there. I'm going to click on this sheet. Now to highlight all of these sheets, I need to hold Shift. Click on the last sheet. That's now they're all selected. In 2010, you can clearly see they changed that white. It's very nice in early 2007 that was kind of translucent. Now I'm selecting the cell and I'm going to Control V. The fact that I have them all selected allowed me to drill through. I'm going to double click this. All right, so you can see now it shows the uh, the second there. If I come over here, it shows the third. Now I'm going to deselect de these, either right click, ungroup, escape, or click on a different sheet. So I can see that this works. Now I did this formula in this cell here just to for the video purpose. You probably would not want this here. So what would you do? You come over here, copy, actually copy without the equal sign, control C, escape, put this in edit mode and I'm going to double click that C2, double clicking just in like you're in Word, when you double click a word it highlights, in this case a cell reference, and I'm going to control V. Right? Now I'm going to leave this in because a lot of you download these workbooks and look so you can see that there, but now I can copy and now I'm going to click on 2, hold shift, click on 7, click in that cell right there and control V. I'm going to deselect it by clicking over there and then I'm going to sub subsequently see, I'm going to drag this down in 2007 you t and 10, you can drag it down and on each sheet I can see my formula is working. Um, now if you didn't have these named this way, maybe you had them uh, some other way, you'd have to do something completely different, but I just took advantage of that. All right, so we have our dates in our next video. We're actually going to see how to add up all the sales for the month, or in our case, I just did seven sheets, but only the Monday through Friday ones. And that's going to involve looking at this, the cell we want to total from each sheet and the cell with the date from each sheet. So that'll be next video, 756.5. See you next video.